Researchers in the Seattle area working for the Oregon Health Authority published several promising graphs. They show the COVID-19 virus spreading, but not nearly as fast here. as feared. Graph, graph. And if their numbers are right, they show that our hospital system will easily handle the additional cases. These latest projections have good news. In fact, very good news. Take a look at the projected need for ICU beds for the sickest of the COVID-19 patients. Even under a scenario that envisions opening up the businesses again right now, it only projects needing 150 oh, nice. ICU beds. And right now, today, there's oh. 291 that are available. And if we stay the course, the need will be much less. Cutting the spread is being done at the expense of many businesses and the people who work there. So I took the question to Dr. Jennifer Vines on a Zoom call today. She is Multnomah County's top public health officer. So I'm wondering why not just open the businesses again? That's a great question. I think um, I think we're going to need to look more carefully at this question because of, there are real downsides that I'm aware of of keeping businesses closed. I, th I think that's for our elected officials. Uh, for me, that's the county chair um, uh, who are very much interested in how reliable those models are uh, and what it might look like to ease up on social distancing and when. She added that she is skeptical of those projections. We also asked Oregon's state health officer, Dr. Dean Seidlinger, the same question. Why not ease up now since things are going so well? We know that the disease can come back if we relax our, our community mitigation measures, if we go out and start joining again. So we want to make sure that we have some systems in place that we can manage the number of cases that may be presenting, that we have adequate testing that um, someone could go to their provider when they're feeling sick, be tested, and then we could provide them the support and services they need to stay home while they recover. Tonight, the order closing many businesses stands, despite the apparent significant flattening of the infection curve. And with tens of thousands of Oregonians out of work, you can bet this is a question that's going to be asked more urgently in the days ahead. Back to you.